Welcome back, my friends. Another episode. Let's play Empyrean Galactic Survival. It has finally happened. We are getting attacked. I just put down the clone chamber, and that looks like is what uh, did the thing. I did the trick. Now I'm going to get attacked in the dark. I do have a flak cannon here set up, a turret. So that should help significantly. But I'm going to go after these guys like there's no tomorrow. Bring it on. And then you can keep bringing it, because I'm going to keep adding to this small base that I have. So, while we're waiting for the drone attack, um, not too much here between episodes, just enough to get set up. Did get attacked a few times by drones, but it wasn't a drone attack. They just happened to be flying by. Uh, it was like two or three of those I managed to take down. And then now, as soon as I drop down the clone chamber in my base here on the left, um, that's when... That's when they started to spawn. That's when they're coming to attack me, so... Just waiting now, just playing the waiting game. I got 12 rockets ready to go. If that's not enough, well, I'll get out and take them down on foot. It's entirely possible that my flak turret here will just take them down by itself, but I'm ready. Actually, you know what? I'm so confident in my turret that I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna use this ship. I should probably hide it, if anything. I don't know why I'm hiding it on this side. I assume they're gonna come from that way, but... Who knows? Anyway, it's hidden and uh, locked in here, so... In case I need to take off for some reason, quickly... With the CV, I can do so. Um, hmm, okay, are they walking? What's taking them so long? Hmm. As I recall, they send you one la- they, they send you a warning, and then you get another warning, and then they show up right after the second warning. So, maybe that's what we're waiting for? I don't know, oh, oh, there we go, there we go, as I say that. Flak turret has already taken over. Is that it? Oh, no, that's not it. That was probably just an enemy because I have to set my turrets to. Uh, let's see, alien only. Other factions? Sure, it's never going to happen, but. Prey? No. Predator? No. So it was probably the predator that set it off. Alien? Definitely. Or turret mounted weapon. I don't know what all that is. So, like, which device turret should shoot? Interesting. You can specify where it shoots. So, that kind of uh, validates one of my theories that the AI tends to attack certain things, right? Ammo boxes and uh, whatnot. Anyway, that should fix my turret. What is it? Again, it's a uh, flak turret, yeah, okay. Just want to make sure I'm using the right terminology there. Okay, um, since these guys are taking forever, I might as well stay productive. And why did I put my fridge backwards? <laughs> Doesn't matter, I guess. It's all going to get rearranged, but just want to get the basic groundwork out here. Get some stuff out of my inventory. Um, start dropping some of these auto mining devices, which I might actually do right now. There is a Prometheum deposit right on the other side of this lake, so... Might as well get that going. And then, of course, I set up immediately my oxygen generator, the survival one, and also the regular oxygen generator. And then the water, of course, and the hydrogen. So I'm all set up there. Hey, slimes! Haven't seen these guys in a while. What's up, dude? How you been? Looks like he's got the Eye of Mordor. I wonder where those drones were coming from. Is there a drone base around here? Is that what's going on? Anyway. Prometheum deposit. Here I come. Okay, fill that up. Source quality 24%, 48 per hour. Hmm. It's not exceptional, but whatever. What? Can't use those, really? 
Got that. I'll have to use the big ones, I guess. But Promethium will give me more fuel, so that's paying for itself. Okay, and those are the level 2 ones, the tier 2 ones, by the way. Not quite level 20 yet, so I can't do the tier 3 auto mining drones, but tier 2 will do just fine. I was using tier 1 until recently. Um, speaking of tech tree, do I have anything? No. All good there. I just unlocked a bunch of random stuff, it doesn't even matter. I've got everything I need. Is that a plant monster? Oh my goodness, I haven't seen you in a while. What's up? Still as feisty as ever, I see. Nice XP, though. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to get a garden going. ASAP. Oh, the tribal guys! I forgot about these guys. What's up? I kill you not. I kill you not, my friends, until I'm ready for my quest. Once my mission is, is ready to be done, then I'm sorry. But until then, feel free to come on my property. Come and go as you will. But just know that when it's mission time, that's the end for you. Not necessarily you, but, you know, someone in your tribe. All right. Doing well, doing well. Things are going good. I'm going to keep the transfer going here. Alright, I think that's pretty much it for the CV here. I've taken off the parts that I need. Left everything intact pretty much the way it was. I, I definitely, if I'm going to use this thing again, I need to use, I need to um, add a, a, a thruster to <laughs> break. Very important. But in all likelihood, I'm going to stay here long enough that I'll just blueprint one of my old CVs. Um, would love to bring back the Bumblebee because I, I wasn't quite finished with that design and I want to finish it. I was uh, I was really liking it, big boxy old thing, which is usually how my designs turn out. But it was still fun and, and very functional nonetheless. So I guess the last thing to do is get this thing off of here. Let's go park this over here or something for now. Work on that later. damaged but it doesn't need a whole lot of work just little repairs here and there it's it's good for the most part i hear another plant monster looks like that's gonna start to become an issue yes i'm talking about you oh i'm out of bullets look at that 20 on this one this is it one two three four five six seven looks like about seven bullets did it maybe six this gun is just so amazing. 90 damage, I mean, for a handgun. Yeah, it's got a pretty quick rate of fire, 600. Quick reload time, I mean, so many good things about it. The next logical thing would be to drop down the constructor here. Where can I put it? This thing's so big. Start using some concrete here. Round this out a little bit. Okay, well, there we go. That, that'll give me some room to expand a little bit. Good little starter base. Fix all this up some other time between episodes, whatever. This is not going to be a building episode. This is going to be a progression episode. So... Let us progress, my friends. Let us progress. First, I want to progress in my foundation making. Because that is not safe. Maybe I should turn the predator thing back on. Might be a good idea before I end up dying to a plant monster. I don't remember there being that many of them, but... Looks like they really like my base. All the mobs do, actually. They, they greeted me warmly as soon as I arrived. Uh oh, here we go again. Flat cannon's got it covered though. I'm not worried. Wait a second. Did we even get attacked the first time? I don't think we did. 
That's right. I better get prepared for this. Um, where's my stuff? Yeah, that's right. I just realized that first drone attack never came around. So... This must be it. That or they got scared. They came around the corner, they're like, whoa! This guy's already got to turn it up. Turn back. I'm not going to sit around waiting for these guys. I got a foundation to finish. Yes. What? No. <laughs> Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Not as bad when you screw up now. The game is a lot more accommodating for mistakes. Um, yes, it's a small setback of whatever, 30 seconds, but it's not the end of the world. Not like it was before where to dismantle things or to repair things was like tedious you're sitting there just like dee, 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 dee. actually it wasn't even a laser it was uh, it's like more of a mechanical uh, tool so I pay more attention here so I don't waste time but something like that you know just to get us started is more than enough um, seems like we got multiple levels going on here hmm. interesting actually that might make a cool design Perhaps if I remove these two. Oh, 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 here we go. Are we finally getting attacked? I guess so. And... Well, I don't even see them. The flak, the flak turret already killed them. <laughs> yes. Love it. A minigun drone, too was nothing. Oh, he killed three of them. Is there three? Or only two? Still. Amazing. I better go pick those up before they despawn. It's awesome. Okay, so as long as I keep that thing filled up, it should protect me. Um, I might actually uh, turn it back on to Predator so that I'm always safe. This perimeter is always safe. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that now, actually. One flak turret should do the trick. So, and even if I want to pick up some meats, I could turn on the prey thing and go pick up the carcasses that, that it shoots. But I don't want to do that right now. Um, oh, they're already despawning. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in time. Oh no. So far, so good. Are they in the water? Better hurry. Ah, bullets. I mean, I'll take them, but. What? 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 Um, dude, it's dead. Was there another one there? What are you shooting at? What just happened? Oh, was that a predator? Was there a predator around here? What was it just shooting at? Ah, there it is. Thank you, turret. That turret is on the ball. So it looks like the drones don't despawn as quickly as they did before. Maybe I'm just getting lucky, I don't know. Alright, decent score that time. Whoa, it just despawned. Pretty sure, I, yeah, there goes the mini drone. So they do despawn about the same amount of time. Another one, really? Wow, I'm going to go through a lot of... Uh, rounds on that thing <laughs> with all these plant monsters another one whoa don't blow up the don't blow up the SV dude it's got some range on him too I like that flag turret's probably the one of the best turrets I've seen so far I remember using it last time too in the previous season season one Okay, well, this is getting to be a good place to wrap up for this episode. Extremely happy with the progress. Um, very happy with the way the turret's performing. 
and just generally happy with the way things are going. All of our needs are covered now. Oxygen is not an issue. Hipster Joe can fill his lungs with all kinds of fresh hip oxygen. And, um, yeah, doing very well. Um, between episodes, I'll probably fix up this base a little bit more. And make sure that it looks, you know, more aesthetically pleasing. Start making the walls and building it out. I'm going to try and make, like, some kind of an hexagonal, octagonal shape. I'm not sure where I'm going with that exactly, but... Yeah, trying, I'm going to try and do something different without being awkward or weird. Um, yeah, oh, I forgot to turn this thing off. Power down. Power down, Betsy. Take a nap. It's rocking herself. She's rocking herself to sleep. See that? Oh, there she goes. Alright, well, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Um, again, like I said, I'm going to keep building on this base mostly, get organized, get my constructor down, sort all the, the cargo boxes and just, you know, get myself set up here. Reorganize things. But we're in really good shape. Had a huge mishap, but had a, an amazing recovery. I'm not going to be able to afford the bullets that this thing is using. Just taking out predators, so that's not going to work. I remember why I turned that off last time. Because, yeah, that's probably going down super fast. Yeah. <laughs> so... Alien only. I'll have to watch out for the plant monsters. But once I get the walls up, it's not going to be an issue. There's not really going to be a point of venturing out at night. So, landing pad maybe. All things in the works. But, thank you very much for joining me, guys. Hope you're enjoying this season. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm very much enjoying season two so far. Every time I think, you know, it's the end or things are going poorly, uh, around the corner comes another ray of, sh of sunshine to bring it all back and keep the optimist positive vibes going so very happy all of our stuff made it to the planet with us why complain food's gone who cares get more food you can eat anything it's not an issue anyway thanks again for joining me and i'll catch you on the next one Bye bye